Hi guys, it's me again and welcome back to my channel. Today, I will be doing a bag review video. Kasi masyado na yata akong nahumaling sa plants and home and tita things that I forgot I have subscribers that are watching and nagaabang ng mga bag videos. So today, I will be reviewing, I think it's safe to say that this is my favorite sa aking collection. So, if you are interested to find out my thoughts and my review regarding the Chanel Wallet on Chain, then just keep on watching. So right now, this is my only Chanel bag. I don't know if this is my first or second one, but the medium flap I already sold. And if you haven't seen the video of why I sold it, then I'll just put the link down below. But anyway, this is my only Chanel bag right now. And I think this is the only Chanel bag that I will ever have. <laughs> Kasi sobrang tuloy-tuloy yung pagpa-price increase nila. And maybe I can buy another Chanel bag someday. But probably in the pre-loved market na. Unless talagang magkaroon ng himala at magimilyonaryo kami. But what I can say is that if you can only buy one Chanel bag, then get the wallet on chain. This one I got when I was in Dubai. Chanel boutique in Mall of the Emirates. And I know, I always say na if you have a chance to get it from any part of Europe, you should get it there. Kasi nga, the price difference sa Europe compared to any other parts of the world sobrang sobrang laking difference like you can buy luxury shoes or another bag even or an SLG with a price difference ganon kalaki so if you have a chance to ask somebody to buy it for you to Europe or may plans kayo to go to Europe get it there but if not then <laughs> Like me. Kasi nung time na sobrang nagkikrave ako sa kanya, every single day I would watch bag vlogs regarding it. And the more I watch it, the more ako <laughs> nagkikrave sa kanya. And then I would always drop by the boutique in Dubai Mall and Mall of the Emirates. And they would always say it's out of stock. Wala, wala. It's really hard to get it in the store. Kahit may money ka na, kahit handa ka na to buy. When you go to the store, it's not always available. <laughs> I work in Dubai Mall and pa uwi, dumadaan ako ng Mall of the Emirates. So every single day, I would check if it's available, but laging wala. And then there was this one random day, na day of ng lamin ng friend ko, mama Marshall kami. Talagang supong na supong na ako na I wanted to buy it talaga. I called the store in Mall of the Emirates and they said, wala, walang stock pa rin. But then when we went there, buti na lang, persistent ako. I went to the store and then they said, may isa and gold hardware pa. I really, really wanted the gold hardware because you can see me naman, I always wear gold. So, isa lang ata ang bag ko na silver hardware. Everything is gold. Kasi nga, I always wear gold jewelry. But anyway, sobrang, sobrang, sobrang saya ko na kahit wala pa akong pera that time. And sobrang nagpanik ako. Kasi nga, ilang linggo ko na siyang hinahanap. Ilang linggo ko na siyang, baka buwan na nga, ilang months ko na siyang kinikrave. And then suddenly, it's there in front of me. Buti na lang, yung friend ko, si Vince, nilibre niya ako. Char! <laughs> I used his card and then I paid him after a couple of days lang naman. Si sumahod naman ako. I wouldn't say it's an impulse buy because ilang linggo ko na at ilang buwan ko na siyang pinag-aralan. Because every time I would buy a bag, talagang pag-aaralan ko siya, I would review the pros and the cons of the bag and everything. Kung ganun kahirap siyang hanapin doon sa Dubai, I'm sure mas mahirap siyang hanapin kung nasa Europe na. That's why, you know, sobrang swerte mo kung makabili ka nito sa Europe. But anyway, yes, I got it in Dubai in a super expensive price. <laughs> but no regrets kasi I got it 2016 and until now four years later it's still in excellent excellent condition so ayun ang story with this bag i got it in a uh, caviar leather kasi yung medium bag ko is in lamb leather and nude pa yung color or beige kaya it's a worst decision ever if you're ever gonna get a chanel bag especially if isang chanel bag lang please make sure to get caviar leather and black color kasi it will last you a long 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 time it's the most classic one and it's super tibay and the quality of the leather hindi siya magagasgas at all kasi hindi talaga ako maalaga sa bags. That's why it's best decision to get caviar leather in black. Inside is still caviar but then this one is canvas material but this part is leather. I think this one is lamb. Ayan o, tingnan mo po. Gas-gas na ako nakikita nyo. Then it has the gold chain. Sobrang sobrang love ko to because first of all, you can use it as a clutch bag. Just put the chain inside and then Clutch bag na siya. It's just really pretty. And then, since matangkad naman ako, it's perfect crossbody for me. But if you're a little bit shorter, you can also do some tricks para masuot siya ng shorter yung length. And you can also use it as a shoulder bag. Sobrang daming ways to wear it. That's why it's so versatile and sobrang perfect talaga. 
if you have it. If you have this bag at the back, you have this pocket. Mababaw lang siya ganyan. What I use this for usually is mga resibo, yung mga random na kailangan ko lang isuksok. Hindi naman kasi kasi yung phone. Sometimes I put the phone, if I'm holding it, if may kailangan akong gawin randomly, I need to be hands-free. Sinusuksok ko lang lang pa ganyan. But I don't keep it there for a long time. And then, inside, it has six card slots. And it has a zipper compartment in here also. So, dito ko nilalagay yung mga cash ko. Wait, pakita ko nga sa inyo. Just for your reference. I put the cash here. And then, dito may extra space pa ulit for other random things. Pag nagmamadali ako, I just shoot yung key clay ko and my car key. So, minsan di ko na ginagamit yun. House keys ko kasi iniwan ko lang naman sa car. A lip balm and an essential oil. In there. And a lipstick, of course. Tapos, yung phone. Sige, lagyan, lagyan natin yung phone. Kasha naman. Usually, sa parties ko naman ito ginagamit. I'm gonna put mint as well. Ayan, okay na. Marami pang space, but that fits a lot. Power bank. Usually, ilalagay ko power bank. Ayan. But usually naman hawak ko yung phone, so hindi na siya nalalagay dyan. Kung I need more space, hindi ko nadadalin yung key clay, and then I'll just put it in the card slots. This one is basically useless. Kasi sobrang <laughs> lalim niya. Hindi ko siya ginagamit. Dito nagtatago si Coco Chanel nung naglalandi siya before. Nagtatago siya ng love letters in here. Kaya niya yung bento yung compartment na yan. But I don't really use that one. Yung bagong edition ng Chanel, I think the only difference is that kasi ngayon this is leather and it's black. Parang gold na rin siya. Gold hardware. And also, eto yung closure niya. This one is, hindi ko alam ko anong tawag dyan. Pero yung ngayon is magnetic clasp na. Kung ako tatanungin, parang ayoko nung magnetic kasi medyo, I don't know, hindi ko pa siya nakikita in person kasi baka mamaya medyo mas maluwag. Kasi lagi ko siyang sinustuff. Kita nyo naman. Kita din ng mga friends ko na aawa sila dito minsan kasi talagang sinusuksuk ko to the brim. Like hanggat kaya ko isara, susuksukan ko. So kung magnetic siya, baka mabilis siyang magano. But this one is like super duper safe and maganda yung closure niya. Kaya mas preferred ko to. But yung new edition ngayon, ganun na siya. If you really want to buy any Chanel products, it's always the best time to buy now. <laughs> Kasi Chanel increases its prices every year. Sometimes twice a year pal. Usually, they have the price hike every November before pumasok yung fall-winter collection. But sometimes, randomly, bigyan na lang silang mag pa price hike. Like for example, I think last month lang, just because of the COVID pandemic and nalugi sila ng matagal, bigla sila nag-price hike ng 10 to 20% pa nga yata. It depends on the model. Sobrang frustrating, di ba? Kasi sometimes, mag-iipon ka ng matagal for a certain bag and then, pag naipon mo na, biglang nag-increase na pala. So, parang never-ending yung paghahabulan nyo. Sobrang ganda ni Chanel but nakaka-frustrate na talaga siya. That's why I think, if you wanna buy Chanel now, buy it from a pre-loved market or buy it from your suking tindahan. <laughs> Buy it from yung reliable online seller nyo. And I will put my most and only trusted online sellers down below. They do lay away terms. So, kalimbawa, kagaya nun, before mag-price increase, pwede ka nang magpabili para makukuha nila dun sa price na yun. At least, yung hiniipon nyo, di ba? Hindi huh? get what I mean. Ang hirap niya explain. <laughs> Just get it from an online seller kung talagang nagahabulan tayo ng presyo with Chanel. Huwag lang sa basta basta online seller ha. So yung mga sinabi ko, pag binigyan nila kayo ng fake ako habulin niyo. Ganun ang trust ko sa kanila. Alam ko yung mga bahay nila, ganung levels. <laughs> Kaya sa kanila na lang kayo kumuha if ever. So I got this 2016. I think 5 to 6 times na siyang nag price increase since I got that. That's why I was saying na this bag is a classic and I always invest in classic kasi mahal nga siya but then it's an investment. Nakalimutan ko na yung presyo but for example, I got it for 100,000 noong 2016. Now, 150,000 na siya. So, kung ibenta ko siya and sobrang gandang condition pa din as in walang nagbago. So, if ibenta ko siya ng 150 ngayon or let's say 120 or 130 mas mura than the brand new one, kumita pa ako. Diba? So, it's really an investment. You just have to take care of the bag. And yun nga sabi ko sa inyo, kinaganda nito. Hindi ko na nga siya inaalagaan eh. I don't baby my bags just because I want to make the most out of my money. Ayoko yung takot-takot akong gamitin kasi ang mahal-mahal na nga eh. So gamitin natin ang gamitin, di ba? But even if I'm not babying it, it's pristine condition pa din. The quality is really, really nice. I actually even asked designer on board regarding this bag. Noong 2017, he was selling it for 100,000 only. Well, only. Kasi ngayon, 150,000 na. Ganun nakalaki. Imagine, 2017, 
three years ago lang and 50,000 agad yun na increase. That's why nakakaloka si Chanel. Kaya parang yung mga medium and yung mga jumbo flap, di ko na talaga yan makakating or maaarok. Oh my God. Unless maging milyonaryo ako dito sa YouTube. <laughs> I'm really, really happy with the only Chanel that I have right now. It's so versatile. So daming kasha and it's the best entry-level bag in Chanel. If you have been in my channel for quite a while, you already know na I tend to buy and then sell my bags kapag hindi ko na gusto. I also mentioned somewhere in my vlogs na if ever there will come a time that I have to sell all of my bags or some of my bags for a fund na kakailanganin ko, I will sell everything and just leave this bag. Ito lang sapat na. First of all, black. So, baggy siya in any outfit. In this design, kahit lola na ako, it would still look good. Kahit magdalaga na yung magiging anak ko kung babae man, it will look good. Imagine, so ganun siya ka, classic. It will never be out of style. Mahal mo pa rin siya mabibenta kung kailangan at kailangan mo talagang ibenta. Please make sure to buy caviar leather, ha? Caviar. That's an advice from a friend. Pero kung marami ka ng bag at nanawag mo na akong pakinggan kung gusto mo maglamb. Kasi the lamb is just very luxurious. It feels very soft and buttery. Yun talaga yung nakaka-budule yung paghahawak-hawakan mo. Tapos it will call your name. However, pag ginagamit mo na siya, sobrang nakaka-stress. That's why, make sure to get caviar leather always. Trust me. Once na ako nasakta ng lamb and <laughs> hindi na ako ulit magpapabudol sa lamb skin na yan. There you go, guys. I hope nasabi ko lahat ng dapat ko sabihin about the bag and nag-review ko siya ng mabuti. Can't say anything bad about it except for the price increase of the brand. Mayat maya. Okay? So there you go. If you wanna buy this bag, buy it na bago pa mag November. Dahil baka mamaya mag increase na naman sila sa November. So if you wanna buy it in layaway terms and feeling nyo, kaya nyo naman. May additional cost lang, but at least wala na yung stress na nagahabol kayo lagi sa mga price increase. O kaya naman, nagahabol kayo na baka mawala ng stock kapag pupunta kayo sa physical store. Pag nakita nyo siya sa page ng mga suking tindahan natin na si designer on board at saka si look for less, go na. Grab it na. Nako mga best. I'm telling you, they are the best when it comes to um, assisting your luxury luho. <laughs> budol budol na naman sa ating girl. But anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I hope you learned something. If you're not a fan of luxury goods, then just don't watch na lang. Kasi baka magwa-watch ka tapos in thumbs down mo, di ba? Kung napanood nyo yung entire luxury handbag collection ko and meron kayong gustong bag doon na i-review ko, just put it in the comment down below. And if you haven't seen that video, I'll put the link also. Please don't forget to subscribe and click the bell button para updated kayo if I upload another video. I'll see you on my next one. Bye!